they Gary. are offering oh, you a role. Me, no. Not pointing you just shot a me. PSA. Uh-huh, with the big. With John, I, McCla- with John McCain. Oh, <laughs> boy. Jeez, what did I say with John McCain? Uh, you and John McQueen. John McQueen? John McQueen? <laughs> now I would Steve, vote for John Steve McQueen. McQueen. John McQueen. <laughs> John McQueen. <laughs> yeah, the one from Die Hard. <laughs> I do a PSA with him. Listen, kids, you're gonna want to wear shoes. <laughs> Trust me, this guy knows what he's talking about. Look at his feet; it's all scar tissue. Try tickling him. Nothing. Germans are fucked up. You guys, <laughs> when you go to the airport, bring a gun. I know it doesn't sound like a good idea, but it could come in handy. You and John McCain are doing something for. Um, you're, you're, anti-global warming. You're saying, listen, guys. <laughs> in favor I, of... I am anti-global warming. Like, no. In favor of global warming. No, we it's need, for... We it, need a warmer Earth. It's for... Um, McCain. It's terrible. Uh, the, the Focus on the Family, or what, one of those groups. John Dobson. Oh, boy. John, and, no, you're, and you're talking about... I'm sorry, I couldn't sell that. Wait, no, I grew wait, up wait, next wait. to Focus. I can't... I can't wait a minute, wait there. a minute, wait a minute. By saying that that's something he'd hate, makes it sound like that's something that I love. What? And I don't love. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I didn't. No, 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 no. no, no. These right. are separate. These are separate I things. Don't, I don't think you're as anti global warming awareness as I am anti. But that's the problem. <laughs> that's my problem with him. He's he's for anything that gives him money. Right. Yeah. Like, okay, let's say you and Ed Bigley Jr. are doing a PSA of telling people not to talk to your wife. <laughs> what? Go- Here's the thing, people. <laughs> Please, when you're out and about on the streets, ignore Laney. No one needs to talk to her anymore. Just cross to the other side just of the street. When you see Laning coming, please just move. <laughs> and that's the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Ed Bagley signing off. No, I don't what know. Was what Evan doing in that commercial? <laughs> He's right. Don't talk to my lady. Would you do it? Would you do it? It took, for a large amount of money, I would do almost anything. Laney would tell him to. She's like, <laughs> how much are they paying me? <laughs> Hell yeah, tell America fine, not fine, fine, fine. to talk to me. Later on, you passed on the Che Guava sketch. For this, for this <laughs> che Guava. <laughs> the Che Guava yeah. script. It was going to be a full-length movie, and then we read the script. We realized it's a sketch. It's four minutes. It's all, it's all <laughs> they can hold up. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even real sure about He's that. He's got this new project for you. <laughs> You're auditioning for the role of... I'm auditioning? I don't audition. Okay, <laughs> fine. He's got this role for you. Casa de Cantaloupe. It's, it's, um, you're playing a hitman, and, you're, and your job is to kill Anderson Cooper. Oh. Oh, no. Dude, uh, hang on. <laughs> it's just like the, this is his focus this on the family. Selling out. <laughs> this isn't selling out. You have to they put money. you in a movie where you pretend to kill someone you like. No, but Come you on. really kill her. Hit her? her? <laughs> Wait, are we talking about the same Anderson Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> the lady that owns the flower shop down the street. Who are you, you talking about? What? <laughs> All right. I think I read the script. <laughs> are the you guy from Channel One? Why, why are you don't you just? Him? Why don't you just say to him? Okay. Is there any amount of money we could pay you to kill Anderson Cooper? Yes. yes. Is there any amount? <laughs> see? Oh, see, I can't do this with you anymore. All right. <laughs> Back to you. You, Evan John McCain, and John McClane. Me, doing <laughs> Bruce Willis, from several of his movies, including The Fifth Element. <laughs> and John McCain. And, you guys are doing, you're doing this thing uh, in favor of focus on the family. Again, I don't... You, don't, I, you wouldn't do it? No. Okay. Couldn't it, do it's, it. It's somebody else. It's, it's soft focus on the family. Soft focus on the family? <laughs> like soft porn? No, it's it's just not as much focus. Um, <laughs> we want you to like look at them and, and pay attention, just but not, not as much. Just glance at the family. <laughs> it's like peripheral. Um, so yeah, okay. Would you do that? I don't think so. No. What about Thanks for a you? Hundred thousand dollars. Mm, that's a tough. It, it's a toughie. I can't see myself doing that. Would you go on? I say things every what about? Do you like Bill O'Reilly? How do you feel about Bill O'Reilly? I hate Bill O'Reilly. Okay. Would you go on Bill O'Reilly's show? Yes. Okay. And just keep saying, you're a douchebag. You're a douchebag. But they want you I to probably wear... wouldn't say anything. I'd probably say, like, look, Bill, you're would you wear a like Dr. Pepper shirt you do this every single night? Would you wear a Dr. Pepper shirt on Bill O'Reilly's <laughs> show? Who's paying me to wear this shirt? <laughs> Coke? They're like, if, if they hate Bill O'Reilly, they'll now hate Dr. Pepper. It'll be associative. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dr. Pepper's like, we're going to get you on Bill O'Reilly. All you have to do is wear this shirt. <laughs> I don't even want to be on Bill O'Reilly. I'm not a person on. of note. <laughs> Bill O'Reilly, you guys are talking, but, like, let's say before the. Before the show starts, mm-hmm. he he says to you, you're in the green room with him, and you're looking at the Hot Pockets or whatever they have in there, and and he comes on, he's like, 
Hey, Kurt, good to have you on the show today. Uh, what? Whoa. <laughs> I, I, uh, That's a very sweet Bill yeah. Arthur. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, come hey, in. Guys. Huh? Hey, guys. Hey, boy. Hey, Kurt, uh, I'm, I'm excited to have you on the show. We have a lot of things to talk about. And you, you guys you you hit doing? it off. I have no idea. You guys hit it off. All right. Like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys hit it off, all right? I can laugh like cartoon characters. I can't talk like that. So yeah, so he's like, he's like, yeah, I, I, I think you have a lot of great ideas. I, I listened to you talk on your on your podcast, and you talked about, uh, you know, the TV <laughs> journals. I really like that part about boning sheep. Where can I get <laughs> okay, some so of those? Yeah, those good. <laughs> and so you guys have a great time. You go on the air, uh huh, and then it starts, and he stabs me in the back, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, turn off his mic. He you don't even talk. I drop an octave. <laughs> yeah, he gets mad. He's like. Rah! Are you expecting me to be surprised that Bill O'Reilly would be disingenuous to me? I guess. Muscle Man but I'm afterwards, not, I'm afterwards, not he wants oh, you to. Yeah. He wants I you want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to, you to Brother. come. Oh, I'm going to rip you up on my show. He, afterwards, he goes, I think the interview went well. I know a lot about wrestling, Myron. <laughs> <laughs> Bill O'Reilly says the show went well. He mm -hmm. likes the segment. Mm -hmm. He wants to hang out with you. He mm -hmm. wants to go to. Uh, this is the Ed Baker thing. All he's going to want to go to a strip. He wants, no, he wants to go. No, he, does, he wants to go to uh, the so fascism some, buffet. The fascism buffet, where you can get just little bits of fascism, <laughs> just as much as you can eat. But you, you get a lot of different things. That's the. They will tell you what you eat. Is it? Do, you think, do you think fascists would allow a buffet? No. Well, too well they tell you too what many you're choices. getting. It'd be one giant tub of food. <laughs> <laughs> it would just and be bodies food just it. piling it's up just into a food. <laughs> this is our it's spelled uh, with a U with a little this is our over it. <laughs> food chasm and also mass burial site. Um, well, we do have the dessert cart coming around. So yeah. So would I sample the soylent green? No, I would not. <laughs> and he says, "Listen, you know, <laughs> I hear you're an simple. actor." He slides a script over to you. <laughs> He's been working on it at Starbucks lately. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> He's like, "I worked this one out." I think he would. Mean television I think you He wants you to play. Really has a gold. He wants you to play a young Barry Goldwater. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally play a young Barry Goldwater because. Okay. I would be that moment of transition where something happened to him. I'd be the good Barry. No, no, you Goldwater. didn't write the script. This was about how he he like came like it's Barry Goldwater, pissing on hippies most of the the the, the thing. But again, this is a movie. And yeah, I, I, I don't see myself playing it because I don't look anything like Barry Goldwater. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, what do you want? How, how is O'Reilly asking me to produce? What's what's going well, on? He's gonna, he says you have really to. Really asking this question. They got, they got, they got some good this. CGI that they're going to do, but they think you'd be good for it. Johnny Depp passed on it. Dustin, and Dustin, Dustin yeah, can we stop you for a second? Here's the easy way to do this. All, all right. right. Would you publicly disown your father for three million dollars? That is the kind of question that you should yeah. be asking us. It's not okay. <laughs> Four hours later, you've done Bill O'Reilly, okay? Look at uh, this white chart. The rap party you know. is is decent. It's going. It's moving. <laughs> the uh, but cakes. Everybody wants to move to the bar down the street. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, are, where are we going with this? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> Would you sell out for a large ginger ale? Fine. All right. Would you sell out your father for a million dollars? Oh, no. See, now you can't do that. See, that's, hey, that's no fun. Was all that's right. not exactly. fun. That's not you fun. Sarcastic. Listen, though. No. But you're on Bill O'Reilly's show. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill O'Reilly asks me if I'd do it, i kick him in the nuts. <laughs> no, but he's like, listen, I'm thinking about quitting this show, but I need you to sell out your dad. And what? I'll give you this check for $9,000. <laughs> Nine thousand dollars. I don't even watch Bill O'Reilly. That's why I like care if he's on the air. In fact, I like that he's on the air because it gives Keith Olbermann something to talk about. <laughs> I love Keith Olbermann. All right, but then Keith Olbermann comes in. You look over. <laughs> you look over next to the producer. There's Keith Olbermann. He's like, take the deal. And he's got my family. Take and he's the got deal. a gun. <laughs> take and he's the deal. script Barry Goldwater too. <laughs> <laughs> Barry Goldwater. Keith, no, the later years. I wrote it at Starbucks. <laughs> Yeah, why was yours like Barry Golden Showers? <laughs> on hippies. Uh, I don't know. On Barry Golden Showers. I don't know, because I don't, I don't know, I guess I don't really hate, okay.